Laura. I'm an expat coach and intercultural psychologist. I help people prepare for a move abroad and adjust once they're there. Today, we're going to talk about schools and how to choose the best school for your child. So this is something that people ask me a lot. I see a lot of Facebook groups and people say, this school is the best. This one sucks. This one is great. This one is horrible. And it really depends. And now in this video, I'm going to share some aspects that you should take into consideration when researching about the school. The first thing um, to establish is really before you even look at schools or research about schools is what do you want a school for? How, what type of education are you looking for? Um, is it, do you want, um, is it really mandatory for you that you want international education or are you open to a local uh, education? And why is this important? Because if you're moving for the long term, if you don't have plans to move again or move back, maybe it would make sense to rooting your children into the local culture or not. <laughs> um, if you want your child to have a consistent education because you are traveling to different countries and moving around a lot and that aspect is important to keep consistent, then maybe certain um, types of um, methodologies like IB and others would be the right route because they're the same all over the world. So the first question you want to ask is, what do I want this my child's education to be like? Do you want something a little more freer? And again, the second point depends on your child's age. So how old is, is your child or children and um, where would they start in the, uh, in the school in the new country? The other aspect you want to look into is, of course, budget. And if we're talking about private schools, this can vary a lot from country to country. And it's important to really do the research. But the research is better done, is more effective when you've done this previous like self um, um, question, um, asking the questions to yourself about what you want, because then the questions are more easily answered with the information that you will get online. So it really depends, or else you're, you're spreading yourself too thin and asking questions randomly that don't make sense. So what do you want? What kind of an education do you want? How much can you afford? And then when are you going? Um, so let's say that um, you are going in a year. It really depends on if what you want, if there's a waiting list or if even there are um, uh, other fees that might not be um, said, uh, cited in the website. So you want to look into the timeline and um, like, for example, in local, um, if you want local uh, education in, for example, public schools, there's a timeline to register. Each country will be different because in fact, each country will probably have a different start and end date for the school year. So that's also something you want to be mindful of. So in this short video, I wanted to share some ideas of things that are important. And of course, before we go, the language. So um, do you want your child to learn the local language if it's different from your own or not? Do you want your child to be in a more international environment where the local language is not spoken as much? All of these aspects are important. I hope this video was helpful in listing the some of the most important topics to take in consideration when um, starting to choose a school for your child in a foreign country. If you like this, if this is something that resonated with you, feel free to sign up for the International Relocation Starter Course. It's a completely free course for lesson mini course. The links are in the description box. And if you have any questions, feel free to get in touch comment, like, subscribe, all that good stuff. And that's it for today. I will see you next time. Bye-bye.